<laughs> Welcome back to Sister Circle Live, affectionately known as Dr. Green Eyes. Mm. Donnie Simpson has made his mark in radio, music, and television for nearly 50 years. Wow, and after a five-year hiatus from radio, he returned to the mic in 2015 to reclaim his spot as one of the industry's most beloved yes. personalities. Please welcome, woo! Yes! Johnny Simpson! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yes! Oh, 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 don't die! Did you do that on purpose? Oh, Dick Van Dyke. I'm with oh, Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you. Right here. You. How are you? Man, I'm great. I'm good. great. Life is good. Ain't it? It is. And it's simple. Yes, it's it is. simple. Man, it's, the older you get, the simpler it gets. I know. Yes. I'm just happy to be here, man. When we're happy to have you here. <laughs> well, thank Sinkle you. Line. Absolutely. You started in radio at 15 yeah, wow. 15 years. years. Oh, how did I you? Was, yeah. How did you know that radio was going to be your destiny? Well. You know, people would always come in. My mother had a record shop. I worked in from the time I was 12. Okay. Mm -hmm. Simpsons Record Shop. Still there in Detroit, by the way. Really? Yeah, 52 years. But um, uh, people would always come in the record shop and go, you, you ought to be a DJ. You sound like a DJ. And right. it was in one ear, out the other. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be a Baptist minister. Oh. Yeah. Oh, come on, then somewhere come on. along the line, George Clinton turned me out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here I am, you know. You know you... But one day she had a live broadcast, and uh, the local DJ did a show from there, and he invited me into the booth, mm -hmm. and he let me do the specials. You know, we got the Temptations, Greatest Hits on Sale for two ninety nine mm -hmm. or whatever. And I saw him in there. He had his headphones on, and he's jamming to the music, and I was like, whoa, I could do that. Yeah. I could get into that. That was the day I fell in love with radio. I was on the air three months later. Wow. Mm. You know, I was so young. Well, my show was from 8 to midnight, uh -huh. and I couldn't even do it live, right. the whole thing, because yeah. of child work li uh, laws. Mm -hmm. So I would have to go in after school, record the last hour and a half, go home, have dinner, do my homework, go back, do the show live from 8 to 10.30, put on the tape and leave. Now, <laughs> did they know that you were 15 years oh, old? Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Wow. Now, yeah, speak, and speaking of falling in love with music, yeah. well, falling in love with radio, mm -hmm. what was that moment in your career, or just in the beginning, in your beginnings, mm -hmm. where you fell in love with R&B soul? Because you've been exposed to so much music. Man. What made you choose R&B soul? It's like I didn't have any choice. I didn't choose it. It chose me. I know oh. that's right. You know, I, I, I would have to say it goes back to the very beginning for me. Uh, I remember when we got our first record player, as mm -hmm. a family. Right. And I remember we had one record, and it was the Drifters. Ooh. Save the last dance for me. Oh, oh man. Yes. <laughs> we played the grooves off that I thing, mean, right? man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. So right from there, you know, my earliest remembrance of radio was hearing uh, this DJ who was turned out to be one of my, he was just a mentor. His name was Ernie D. Mm -hmm. in Detroit. And uh, I said, this is Ernie D. with Ray Charles. Hit the road, Jack. <laughs> You know, so yes. it's like from the beginning, it's just, um, you know, I don't think you can say that there's a moment uh -huh. that it happened. It's just, moment. it's just it's in, in you. you. It's, yeah, it's, it's in just you. in you. Yes, yes. Speaking right. of being in you, it took me a while to be Radio Rashawn because mm. I have a radio background, yeah, 12 yeah, years in radio. And, uh, but it took me a while to transition who I was in radio to television because mm -hmm. when I got to television, it was like I was trying to be something that I wasn't and it huh. fed through. Yeah, yeah. Was that you? Did it, did it, did it take you a time? to get to from do, radio Donnie to TV Donnie TV no. or it all was seamless for you no, yeah it was seamless for okay. me uh, okay okay it, 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 there was a time though it took me a time to find radio Donnie mm. oh. you know I had done radio for probably 12 13 years mm -hmm. before I got to the point and I remember it very very vividly one morning when I felt I was doing a show and it's like wow I'm me now mm. I'm not wow. trying to be cat daddy o or uh -huh. Ernie D all the, all the voices that I heard that I thought did good radio. Yeah. I mean, you can't help but come in trying trying to emulate uh -huh. styles that you like. Yeah. You know, so that. But eventually, they were all dropped, and I became me. So right. for for radio, there was that moment. Yeah. But for television, I just rolled into it. It was just you know, for me, it's real simple. I've always I, I'm just me. Mm -hmm. So how hard can that be doing me? Mm -hmm. You know. So I didn't try to do anything else doing television. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of you, we want to get more into you and your life <laughs> when we I'm return. I'm so in. So don't go you. nowhere, and y'all don't go nowhere. We're going to be back with the Donnie Simpson. What? The. The. Oh, the. Man. Wow, it almost. We are back with the living legend, Donnie Simpson himself. That is right. So, Donnie, you are a big-time family man. You've been married. 
uh, yeah. since 1973. Yeah, wow, man. wow. My, and I got to tell you, this is the coolest thing in life for me is to see my high school sweetheart now in the role of grandmother. Yeah. I mean, how cool is that, really, to see that much of someone's life? Yes. Yeah. And she's here with me today, Pam, my boo. That's your mom. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. And she's she, pretty, too. Yeah. Oh, she's beautiful. And she's she a hot be... grandma. Hot. Yeah, man. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. And she's truly my boo, by the way. She's born on Halloween. So oh, she's wow. my boo. <laughs> my boo. <laughs> yeah. What's been the secret to the longevity of your Yes. Marriage? Uh, not listening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, to the little things. Yes. yes. You know, why you have cookie crumbs on the counter? <laughs> Just clean them up. Don't even listen to it. Don't, if you acknowledge it, then you're in a three-day war over some cookie crumbs. Yeah. You ignore it five minutes later, you don't even know it happened. Exactly. Man, somebody you know, got to tell so Kiwan this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know, just being supportive of each other, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, with, in this many years, of yeah. course, you go through things. Of yeah. course. And you know, like, she's like uh, like LL Cool J's round away girl. Right. Like, yeah. Ride or die. You yeah. know, I know she's with me. Yeah. Yes. No doubt. From wow. the beginning, since we were 16 years old. My goodness. Well, Married yeah. at 19, by the way. Wow. Now. Yeah. Well, you know, just like your marriage has sustained, so has your career. Yes. And oh. your, your upcoming project, the Motown Museum, talk to us about your involvement with that. Uh, yeah, well, uh, they called me asking to be a part of their legacy council. Mm -hmm. They are, the Motown Museum is where all this music Music was all this magic was made yes. in Detroit, and they want to have a, they want to expand it. So we're yes. trying to raise, we are raising fifty million dollars. Mm. So we're going to be taking, wow, passing a collection smoky. plate around to you smoky. guys. He looks oh, that's excellent. my man. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Good stuff. Yeah. Awesome. Yes. So we'll be passing plate around when we through asking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just need Down fifty million. You don't have to get yes. the whole thing <laughs> to us. We get you about a hundred here. Yeah, but we plan exactly. on expanding and making it beautiful and more of an, an attraction good. for good, people good, that aren't good. even just just music files. You yes. know that they. Well, Donnie. For people in general. Yes. We love you so much down to the circle. We thank you so much for being Man, it's here. And we're having so much fun with you. Yeah, we're excited for all that lies ahead of for you. Mm -hmm. well, so, um, for all, what did we say? Mm -hmm. Watching, If you're watching us in the DMV, you can listen to Donnie Simpson show on Magic 102.3, weekdays from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. And the conversation continues on SisterCircleTV.com. Yes. Donnie Simpson, everybody. Yes. Cool. I'm not supposed to